everybody, welcome to The Big Red Show. I'm Matt, and today I'm here with a very special guest, Mr. Elmer T. Lee. And although uh, Mr. Lee himself passed away a few years ago, uh, his bourbon lives on. And actually, as it's become more scarce, it's become more popular. A lot of bourbons have done this recently. Uh, but it's actually a pretty reasonably priced whiskey and uh, one that I am anxious to try because, believe it or not, I've never had it. So uh, it's one of the only few <laughs> releases that are like this that I've not tried before. And I'm actually going to just try it right off the bat, not pre-tried or anything. So the reaction you see will be 100% uh, what I think of it right at the moment. Just a little bit of a background on Elmer T. Lee. It's non-age statement, uh, 90 proof. It comes from Buffalo Trace. It is mash bill number two, which is the high rye mash bill. Uh, high rye for Buffalo Trace, 15%, so it's not super high rye for the industry by any stretch, but it's high rye compared to their other mash bill. So, Mr. Lee, let's give you a try. Okay, so the nose is fairly vegetal, but in a nice way. But you get these nice, like, green notes. You get a little bit of mint. Let's give it a taste. Lots of corn spice interaction. This is not uh, this is not a very sweet bourbon. Fairly austere in a way, but gosh, the finish just sort of keeps going. And you pick up that green and sort of minty note right at the end. It's not, it's not, doesn't have that cognac richness that Blanton's has. Um, it's, it's a little bit lighter than that, but gosh, it's a really nice drinking bourbon. Has a really nice dryness to it. Um, it finishes with that mint spiciness, uh, and it, and it leads with that that corn oak balance and I think uh, a well-deserved reputation among uh, the bourbon nerds out there. Anyway, cheers. Mm. 